Hello everybody! Welcome back to episode 36 of the Fortress by the Sea, Corganeros. Well, today I've got big plans up ahead of me. We're going to go deeper across the sea. I really hope that I will stand a chance to finish the bridge today. And I want to design that big old hallway here. We're going to have a lot of work ahead of us with that one. So, yeah. Let's see how far I can take it after that for today, because I'm pretty sure somehow that there will be a lot of uh, thinking and uh, planning involved. So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to get a roof on this room, because that's always the very first thing that your dwarfs want to have, and it's always a nice thing to install that, isn't it? So, here again, I hated that this uh, floor menu looks the way it does really would wish that we could get something something less confusing in, in this department, you know. It's just terribly confusing to me, but, well, it is as it is. So I'm defining now the outlines, because I, I cannot put a single piece of floor on top of the staircase, of course. If I do so, the staircase would be no longer valid, however you want to put it. So, with all that, we can now build walls. Um, are they properly configured? Yep, alright. Just want to make sure that we don't accidentally build ourselves some ill-colored walls. Alright. But all together... see in completion here so this is going to be quite a quite a big task again but this will give me the ability to fully use this room and we can finally get a dining hall in there a tavern and I think we'll have room for even something like a temple or I don't know other cultural things Looking forward to this so much the the surface area of Kogana Ross is a lot of fun to me at least they are really building these staircases already. This will, by the way, be quite useful at the end of the day. What's the matter with you, man? Why, why is your face gray? He's drowsy. Yeah, well, I really hope that we're going to see people using the dormitory up here. That's why we built it. And let's see. The rest down here. It's all looking fine, isn't it? So... There we go. Let's put up the engraver to get ourselves some nice engravings on these pathways. There we go. That's looking a lot nicer than before. So we have now monuments to the fallen. Probably should put in some traps, shouldn't I? <laughs> you know. Somebody comes on by trying to steal something or something like that. We're going to go for more cobaltite flooring here, but I'm going to design this area a little bit more thoroughly on some other point uh, later. I don't really know what I'm going to do with these, so I don't want to over plan them or anything like that. Okay. Ah, oh, man. So happy to see that the pillar structures are being made by now. The staircases are complete enough that I already saw the first person go upstairs via one of these uh, staircases. That's really, really cool. That means our whole system is starting to work out. So, one thing that I gotta get rid of over the course of the time are all these nasty leftover staircases from the from the wall building efforts here that's that's really one thing that others me to know it yeah well whatever so the gapro make uh, the gapro stone cutters i feel as if we are making really fast progress by now so let's see is the gapro pit fully locked and loaded as it seems yes 
Let's uh, stock back up here. I mean, the fun part about this area is we're actually digging out gold while we're digging out Gabbro at the same time, which is quite massive. I mean, how many gold bars do we have by now? 400. Yes. All right. I haven't fully figured out yet how I want to distribute statues over the rest of this place. I really don't know yet where what this is going to be. I probably should make this tavern for outsiders. I think that should be a really great idea. So we're going to construct something here, huh? I really want to get some some life into into this uh, part of the fortress today. So we could actually make this a uh, bit of a larger thing. It's too bad that we don't have anything like counters or or other furniture materials so that are just for the sake of making something beautiful there, but whatever. So our queen demands more coffins. Yeah, heard that before. So Eurist carved two new of them. I probably should br bring up a proper hall of coffins or something like that. I really feel as if this would be something almost mandatory here. With the death cult that we have. So with the building that large, I, I don't feel as if we would go for too much of an upper upper floor. So we're going to go for something like that. Mm. Oh no, I need to cancel these now manually. Because if I wouldn't, I'd be ripping out the floor below. Ah, well. It's either way a little bit tedious. I just noticed that want to have that wall different. So this will be the guest quarters. Guest rooms and all like. Tavern dancing area and area and whatnot. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put upstairs yet, but I also figured that we're gonna put some something upstairs. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna have a couple of little really small rooms okay i really love building rooms like these on the surface it's totally different than uh, building subterrain new mandate or because you have to build every single wall every single thing needs to be constructed but i think i've put up enough strain for my or my stone cutters already this fortress is eating, Gabro. I cannot uh, put into different words. So, seeing the FPS drain, I think I have issued again too many work orders. No. I'm very sorry. So, that always happens if I get too build crazy, I guess. I mean, this place up here is also a bit of a nightmare for the coordination of my dwarfs, but... They'll be getting over it. 474. Oh dear, oh dear. So. Down here, we're getting closer to the end of the line. It's really lovely. Can't wait. So. There has been a really, really interesting proposition in the uh, com in the comment section where somebody brought up the idea that I could create water energy in the ocean by by lowering the ground somewhere, as in digging beneath the ocean a little bit to make the ocean fall, and that would bring the water into motion, and that would make me capable of creating water energy. That's a sick idea, but I think I'm gonna stick with water wheel foundations instead. I'm gonna be setting up the rest of the foundations in between episodes, or in a pause, as soon as I have finished the 
here. Because that's just the biggest task up ahead. I want to get that done so we have full access to everything. And after that, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. So here we have one of these weirdnesses where I wonder why assignments are just not getting done. But, well, it is as it is. So how, how many blocks are actually upstairs here? It's kind of depressing to see that there's so much building material upstairs here. Like the majority of what they need is uh, already up here to be found. And still they, they struggle with getting there. So I just figured that we can probably make one thing happen that would make life also a tad bit easier. So we're going to dig out here. Upstairs. So this little complex that I set up here is useful for us and so far as it allows people that come from below to not first have to walk around here to pick up their blocks. They can go for a much more efficient route. That should do a lot of... Uh, should make a lot, uh, lot of change. What the hell, people? You guys. It's obvious that we need the armory for real. So, but before we put up an armory, yeah, here I go again with more, with more floor. So, we're gonna be, we're gonna be flooring this place with slate, so I don't have to spin the materials that I don't have right now. Ugh. Alright. This place is wonderful. It's one of my favorite projects of all time that I ever did. At the same time, this project is a nightmare. It's really brutal and taxing. Ah, here. That's what's uh, draining my FPS. So, as much as I love what uh, this uh, what the program does and the DF hack thing. Sometimes with these huge assignments, it really stutters and makes nonsense. There we go. Yeah, they're walking faster again. That's mostly because I... Uh, I'm going to delete now all of that. It's just making trouble and nothing else. Okay. Unreachable spots are the worst when it comes down to Dwarf Fortress performance. It's also why these wall works that I set up the other day were really a big problem for, for the game. And there we go. So it might have been logistically easy to... Oh, well, let's probably try something like that. Yeah, so I think this room here is also slowing down the process and the progression of my game. So late game mega structure building is a lot about finding what's hogging your FPS and killing it. <laughs> That's something that nobody told me when I was starting. Yeah, well, it's for me also the very first time that I have to struggle with these things that much. Yeah, you guys, I have ordered that, right? make sure these orders are not being derped upon. Ween wants them. Come on. Get yourself together, man. Show some respect. Okay, so... I hope that by issuing a couple of new orders here manually that are easy to reach, I can get the whole nightmare a little bit under control. But well, let's see, down here, nothing gets done, sadly. But we can still set up the storage stockpile zones. So we're going to go for the classics, or where is it? There it is. So we're going to go for drinks, and they're going to be sourced by 
the royal breweries, which are... Where are the breweries again? You were, where are all the breweries? There. So, we're taking from this stockpile, right? Oh, which the selected stockpile will take. Fine. And then, we're going to set up another stack for mugs. You know the drill already. Goblets. There we go. Usually that suffices. Good. The Royal Engraver is doing his thing, and I can't wait to check out on the art in between the episodes. It's one of my favorite things to do when I start up a new episode to check out what has happened and uh, what, what kind of history we have recorded here. It's really lovely. Yay! Look at the caravan come in. So... Probably I should make this marketplace. I'd need to rip out one or two statues for that, but I could make that easily happen. So, sadly I don't know what I want to trade with these blokes, so we're not gonna. Obviously, there's no more Cobaltite in my position. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one coming. Cobaltite is a kind of a rare good, so to say. Well. Yeah, well, they're doing it. Whatever. They're, they're getting it done. I don't want to monitor these anymore too closely. Rather, get downstairs and check back with Orc Gapro Pit. So that one will get us uh, through business for a while. I'm pretty confident that. This does suffice for a while. So let's go for... Let's do the Cobaltite hunting one more time. I'm really happy that I found something to, to pave my paths with, which is healing exclusive, looking good, while not being too valuable or anything unrealistic at all. All right. So, let's check back to the surface and see if that new pathing trick does do, do something for all workers or not. I want to know if people... Yeah, look at them go. So... Yep. They're, uh, they're doing it. People that are dropping off materials are taking this path now. And people that are constructing are taking that path now as well. So, it's just way more effective to go that way. So, we could and should, therefore, consider getting ourselves also an upward staircase into this direction and trying to make this whole fortress a little bit more effective. Logistics are really important, and without logistics, your whole fortress is a mess. And these little tricks, these little staircases and all, they, they help so much my experience at least. You know what? We're going to make two of these. Alright. Lore-wise, we're making damn good progress. Check out the humans. They come all the way from up the north down here to us, trade with us, because they want to see what the hell's going on here. And, uh, just imagine that these guys are taking a really, really long trip. In my uh, in my narrative, the caravan here, of course, is being frequented by the local people of Kogana Ross as well. They are interested in trading with the people and whatnot. But I'm not down for another quite meaningless trade. We don't really need anything too badly right now. We're in the stage of the game where I could now trade to get some food and drink variety. That is something that I guess would pay off, but beyond that, we don't need anything anymore. So, that's why I went down like that. Also, I figured that we can now set up the Gabbro flooring on this part. I'm not sure how wide the foundation pillars will be, but I do know that they will be covered with floor plates, of course. So it'll make the pathing for everybody also a lot smoother, because currently I see them 
treading on these super narrow tiles, and that's making me a tiny little bit angsty about their well-being. But everything will be alright, of course. Okay, so we finally got that uh, thing here done. So I want to have a stockpile for armors and weapons. I can't make both at the same time outside of that. So here we go. Boom. Done. Now finally all that junk will be stored somewhere. Because currently those blokes are dropping stuff everywhere. I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> Well, it's always like that. The best ideas you know, you have somewhere in between and you keep wondering why the hell didn't you do that before. So sometimes I feel as if work orders just break. This was one of these uh, broken work orders yet again. These here, they seem to be broken as well. I don't know what the heck that is. This is perfectly accessible area. It's just not happening. It's like the person who wants to do that job never did do the job. I, I really don't know what these things are, why they happen, and uh, what I could do to unstuck them or whatever, but it ain't that important either. You know? We're getting our stuff done either way. So, this place is getting a roof. Of that. So, I figured that we're going to make it like that. We're going to make a nice big corridor here. So we're going to have this and that. And on this side, I'm not quite sure if I'll keep the entrance there. I'll I'll see what I'll do here, but it'd be nice if we'd had something like a corridor here again. So something like that. So probably we'll rip out that wall here instead. There we go. And construct a new wall here, of course. So whenever you rip out a wall in the fortress, it's one thing that you really should take note about. Show. The uh, floor is... It's just going to be ripped out as well, sadly. I hated that they do that, but it is as it is. Alright, so this way... We got room for several different buildings. I don't know what we're going to build here exactly. I picture a couple of... A, a eating hall, a... Maybe a small tavern just for the dwarves to stay among themselves. I don't know. I am not right at the point where I, where I can't figure out what we're going to do here. I want to get done with the roofing first. This is a pretty lengthy process after all. Even with all the extra workforce that I have assigned, we're still, we, we still have a long process in front of us. But let's make something happen that will make me happy for today. And that is assigning the big old tavern, my friends. So the, fir the, the first surface tavern is uh, online now. The constructive cakes. <laughs> all right, guys. It is the constructive cakes then. I've had worse names. So we're going to put up another tavern keeper here as well. Let's see. A pump operator. I like that one. And this is open for all visitors, exactly. Here we go. That's a big tavern. That's a huge old tavern. But I, I really wanted to have it like that. So, obviously, we need to do something about that here as well. It ain't working out as I want it to. There's no mugs inside here. So, we're going to go and pick up stuff from this stockpile. Because this is my finished uh, goods stockpile. And this is where pre pretty much everything we produce is landing at. So, if you want mugs, go there. So, we got... A ghost, Dulmas Regoslan. So quickly, we need to engrave a slab for poor old Dulmas. Wow. Wow, the effect. Nice. Look at that. Show only citizens who need a slab. Oh boy. The user, um, 
This is so good for the user experience. I like that so much. All right, one of my miners is throwing a tantrum because he's possessed by a ghost. I never had that happen before. I've heard that ghosts can do some really funky stuff with your uh, dwarfs if you... Uh, ghost, ghosts can do really nasty things, but it's the first time that I see it in action. All right, so let's see, where will we put up the memorial? We are quite a morbid uh, culture after all, so let's start putting up slabs outside there. Hmm. Where to? Well, let's put them right next to the levers, unlike that one. Probably I will have to put down and build a couple of, uh, couple of them extra. Wow. One of my stills got toppled? What a rowdy. <laughs> okay, man. Oh boy. There's a, there's a fight. But, uh, it looks as if he finally stopped his rampage. All right, so we're going to put up a new still. Because I really don't want to have a single one missing. And I probably need to put the uh, animals here on the chopping block again. I know this ain't a professional way of dealing with things, but... Quickly kill them before they adopt wolves. Alright. So, we have a new fortress part here. I wonder how the mist of the ocean wave can still enter the room. This is, uh... Hmm. We need to build higher, huh? To make that uh, go away. The question is, do I want to make that go away at all? Because that is uh, not necessarily a thing. Okay, so... The ghost has been put to rest. That should also put the... Uh, Berserker's rage to an end. Alright, my friends. We're making nice progress here. I might need to recheck the glass bridge. Oh, oh, gemstone. Sweet. I always love to dig into gemstone accidentally. So. One thing that's really noticeable by now is that with all the stone cutters we got, there's still quite a shortage in stone blocks. So. I am considering for the very first time with Dwarf Fortress if I shouldn't have assigned single dwarfs for these tasks, specialists that just get the job done faster. I don't know if it's a really good idea to do that for this run still. You know, we're already that deep invested and assigning all that sounds to me like an awful amount of work, but the, the idea is very simple. If you have dwarves exclusively assigned to just do this specific task and no other task, they grow tremendously efficient at that. Basically, we're doing the same stuff here with the miners. They're also really good at what they're doing. And that's mostly because they don't do anything else than mining. Or it's nothing else, whatever. You know what I mean. So, all in all, specialization pays off. That's what I'm trying to get towards, too. Well, but at the same time, signing specialists for the stone making process is not as easy as it sounds. You need to look up who specifically, how the job is specifically denominated by the game. Then you need to assign specific dwarfs to specific workshops and ugh, yeah, to specific jobs. But on the other hand, if I now look at how long everything takes, because I didn't take that notion, well, I think for the next mega project at the latest, I will do it differently, but maybe I can't get over myself and uh, configure something, something effective for this run as well. 
So let's see how far these cobaltite assignments will take us. It's somehow oddly satisfying to assign new orders whenever they've been digging through a layer, even though I would be preferring to just uh, set them up to vein mining like I do it with the other stuff, but sadly, cobaltite ain't valuable enough, so I cannot vein mine it. It is as it is. Alright, so only a bit more room is left. So I want to try out something new here. Maybe that'll work. We're going to make a storage stockpile zone exclusively for green glass blocks and gabbro blocks. And we're going to order this area to take from that area back there. Maybe my holders can make this nightmare a little bit faster this way. Maybe. Because at the end of the day, this is now a good middle ground for the entirety of this project. I meant to try that. We'll see if it changes anything. It'll also move the Gabro blocks further away from the other people in the fortress, though, so it's a mixed bag. But I want to transport Gabro over here as well, because I, I need Gabro in, for the rest of this uh, pillar operation really badly. Really, really badly. So, yeah, we'll see about that. I mean, I still have logistics dwarves scuttling around and getting those blocks downstairs so they can be, or getting the blocks from downstairs to upstairs, so maybe they can also hold something over here. Look at them go. <laughs> Yay! One, grand, one, one glass block, man. You're amazing. So, all in all, minecarts. Minecarts also popped into my uh, mind. Whatever. It is a good time to end for today, my friends. I thank you so, so much for watching. We're going to see the next time how far we can get. I mean, I'm making really fine progress. I think I'm going to set up the, the foundations between the episodes. I mean, the new foundation blueprint uh, footprints. So we have the pillar footprints then finally completed. And then it'll be not that much longer until we fin we're finally done with with the foundational work. A couple of pump stacks later, and we're actually done. Let's see how many episodes I'll need until this is done. But I am grateful for you fine people hanging out with me. And my dwarves seem to be grateful for this place here as well. And we're going to continue next time. Drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and as usual, I hope that you will check out the playlist as well down there. You'll find a playlist to the rest of the Savage Lands saga. This is, after all, Season 4. I've played a lot of other fortresses before in the same world. Every one of these down here is mine, and I even reclaimed the fortress here, so check them out. And... As usual, I want to thank the supporters of this channel massively. I deeply appreciate your help, my dear friends, and you're awesome. And if you want to join on in, there are Patreon, Paypal, and Buy Me a Coffee links in the description box. Check them out if you'd be so kind. And if not, fret not. Thanks instead for being around here and making this series being watched. That's the most important thing for me after all. I hope you had a great time. See you soon. Goodbye.